ladies and gentlemen, we've got another Estill County, Kentucky artist, courtesy of Marlene McKinney, who made a gift to me, to the channel, to do this reaction. So shout out to you, Marlene. Thank you. Marlene is down there in Estill County, Kentucky, and she's turned us on to, I don't know how many, eight, ten artists at least. Sarah Beth Terry, I think, was the first. Love me some Sarah Beth Terry, too. <laughs> she's so cool. So this is... Aaron Boyd, and it's featuring Abby Hamilton. So I'm pretty sure that's the one you wanted. The link you gave me was a little, little sketchy, but I think I narrowed it down to this. Hard times like these. I don't know how bad these hard times are, but let's find out from Aaron here. Oh, yeah, we've got a video. Cool. Hopefully it's not blocked. Vivo blocks just about everything, but this isn't on Vivo. And who's Abby, Marlene? Now that you're gone And I'm all alone Nice. With time to think and Time to atone Nice. Mostly just sit here Try and get stoned Washing away all All the seeds that I've sown Reminds me a little bit of Coulter Wall You won't catch me crying Or begging you please I ain't gonna break down Or fall to my knees I'd rather just move on Than try I don't know if these guys are new artists, but there is nothing about them that suggests that they're new. If you just, if I just heard the song on the radio, I'd say, wow, these guys have put their 20 years into practicing their craft. That's how it goes in hard times like these. All right. Nice. Oh, hard times like these Diamonds feel soft You love that we found This makes me feel lost Oh, hard times like these I'm 
diamonds feel soft. Diamonds still soft? You love that we found. I almost never watch the credits on these videos, but I had to know who was who in there. And they're true husband and wife in the video. And they, God, did they pair so well together, though, vocally. Uh, I'm astounded when there's a new artist like this that I'd never heard of, that they have this sort of songwriting and performance quality combined. Sometimes somebody can write a killer song, but then as a performer, they're just okay. Were not good, or sometimes they have like an amazing, amazing stage presence, but the song itself isn't that good. I like time to lean in to think and to feel. Maybe that's why sometimes Jeff Cather, you'll call me out on my ratings and and of songs and think, how could you give something like, you know, like a nine point three, and you you thought it was an eight point four, and other people have questions or. They agree with me or they try to predict and they know where I'm going to go with it. And I love that part of this. I didn't realize rating the songs was going to take on a life of its own. But I like to feel songs. I don't just listen. I don't academically analyze them. I analyze them, but it isn't in any formal way, no formal constructs. I didn't study music, for example. I mean, I have in my own right, I guess subjectively. I didn't study it in a classroom. I didn't have the interest or patience for it but when a song comes together i mean the confluence of factors where i'd never heard of the artist they come together with a song they perform it amazingly they had studio musicians which i would have asked the question are these the folks in the band but they're studio musicians i don't know if they'll tour with them steely dam was comprised of studio musicians and then they went monstrous um, I know the steel player in this thing was so good, but the patience with which they both sang this, Aaron and Abby sang this song, their respective parts, and then they sang together. And videos don't always add to songs. Sometimes they detract from them, especially a song like this, that's this very patient, real part of life coming at you. And we can all relate to hard times. I mean, certainly by the time you get to be my age, you've had hard times. Uh, generally speaking, by the time you've, you're five, you've had hard times, just not relationship breakups at that age, but you feel emotions deeply. But by the time you're in your mid-20s, you've had breakups, and they hurt. The first one's brutal, generally. And a song like this that we can all relate to, but the video itself added a lot to it and it's hard on a low budget to come up with something you know but my favorite part of it was seeing them actually with the microphone in front of them singing their parts they didn't sell anything and that's one thing i guess about pop music you know pop country that doesn't appeal to me is that it seems like there's this patronizing this watering down this simplicity formulaic approach toward the listener and i don't want that i don't want to be sold anything i want to lean into it and i think that's just a much more respectful approach it's certainly more artistic so marlene you've definitely nailed another one i'm stunned i mean what goes on down there in estill county <laughs> i mean is it going to become a new mecca like maybe take over for austin or nashville or or memphis or something <laughs> like I don't know. It just seems like if you built like a, a big fence around it, you could have the best music in the world coming out of it, just like you have tech companies coming out of Silicon Valley.
All right, I'm going to rate this thing. Wow. Yeah, I'm stunned. The, the number that popped into my head is a 9.5. I, uh, God, did I like that song. You know, and a big part of it for me in the ratings is what I feel while listening to it. It isn't just, yeah, it has to do with what I feel while listening to it, but what I think what I feel? Can I see myself listening to it again? Can I see myself enjoying it in the car? Checks all the boxes. So there you go. All right. Aaron and Abby, congratulations. Should you see this? Thank you. That was phenomenal. That's going in the playlist of songs of nine and above. And thank you again, Marlene. All right, guys, have a great day. See you on another video. I keep rocking the country.